and welcome to Full Primary. Meet me at the top of your mat in Sama Stitihi. Sama translates as equal and Stitihi study. Bring your hands to your heart, close your eyes. We'll open this morning's practice with the invocation starting and closing with the sound of Om. Inhale for Om. Oh One day Guru Nam Charanara Vinde Sandara Shita Svatma Sukava Bode Nishre Yase Jangali Kaya Mane Samsara Hala Hala Moha Shantye Abba hu puru shakaram, shankra chakra siddhare nam, sahasra shivasam shvetam, pranamami patanjalim. Oh. Let the words fall like alphabet soup. Begin to activate the Ujjaya Pranayam. Open your eyes, release your arms. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Step, walk, float back, Chaturanga Dandasan. Inhale, Urdva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Roll over the toes and extend back. So you might like to paw the earth with your feet or your hands. And immediately begin to awaken that lift in the pelvic floor. It's subtle at first. But it gives us the control in our shapes to be steady and have more shape. Completing your exhale, eyes forward, top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Fold. Stand tall, reach high. Release the arms. Inhale up. Exhale, fold, let the neck be heavy. Inhale, lengthen. Step walk, float back, Chaturanga Dandasan. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha, glide back, firm hands, firm legs. So within the asana practice, it's a fine line between striving, pushing, and pulling back. And every day the body will feel a little bit different, meaning it will require a little more stira, a little more effort, or maybe a little less effort. Eyes forward, top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Fold. Stand tall, reach high. Release your arms. Inhale, up. Fold in, forehead to shins. Lengthen. Step walk, pounce back, low push up. Stretch your abdomen, lift your heart. Slide back, downward dog. Begin to luxuriate in the extension from the finger pads to the hips. One quality that the mind loves is finding bliss, finding joy. Completing your exhale, eyes forward, top of the mat. 
lengthen, fold, stand tall, reach high, release your arms, bending into the knees, arms up, fold in half, chest to thighs, inhale, lengthen, step walk, float back, low push up, chin leads, ride your inhale, Ride your exhale. The right foot steps, warrior one takes you up. Down, hands plant, step back, lower. Big inhale, up. Strike back. The left foot steps, the hips are low, reach up. Hands plant, step back and lower. Ride your inhale. Ride your exhale, land. So the stira element of the practice is where we are steady. Our intensity, one might say. But then we balance it with the perfect blend of ease. I often say care deeply, take yourself very seriously, and yet, not seriously at all. Eyes forward, top of the mat. Lift your heart. Fold. Sit on your throne, arms up. Stand tall. Bend your knees, strike your pose. Fold in, chest to thighs. Lengthen. Step walk, pounce back, chin leads the way, lower. Big inhale takes you up, exhale back. The right foot steps, the hips are low, reach up. Hands plant, step back, low push up. Big inhale up, big exhale back. Left foot steps, knee pulls forward, reach up. Hands plant, step back to lower. Big inhale drags you up. Big exhale slides you back. Clear the navel center like you could get rid of anything in the digestive tract. And then from the belly drawing back, the hips extend high. Feel the breath move through you, clearing you, cleaning you. Completing your exhale, eyes forward, top of the mat. Lift your sternum, fold. Sit on your throne, that's where you should live. Stand tall. One more, bend the knees up. Fold in half, chest to thighs. Lengthen. Step walk, fly back, lower. Big inhale lifts the chest. Exhale back. The right foot steps, the hips are low, up. Down, belly draws back, step to lower. Drag it up, open your heart. Slide back. Left foot steps, knee forward, pull your chest up. Hands plant, step back, lower. Drag your pubic bone to your wrists. Slide back, downward dog. This is a rhetorical question, but at the front line of your thighs, let's say the base of your pants, or sorry, the top of your pants, is there space there? And if you wanted to create a little bit more space, what could you do? The word is sukha and it means lots of space, sweet space. Eyes forward, top of the mat. Lengthen. Bow. 
Sit on your throne, arms up. Stand tall. Catch your waist, feet, hip distance. Lift the heart. Bow and catch your toes. Inhale, lengthen. Fold. Tell me about the lower abdomen. And if that became the only thing you focused on right now, how could it change the posture? Inhale, lengthen. Bend your knees and slide your hands under your feet. Lengthen. Bow. So this pose is significantly different. Why? Padahastasan. Scan the body for tension and let some of it go. If you've been carrying a heavy backpack, take it off. Inhale, lengthen. Catch your waist, stand up. Samastiti. Take a step out with the right foot. Trikonasana, face the back. You might like to catch your toe. You might catch your ankle. Draw your left hip back and draw your right inner thigh forward. A big inhale picks you up, trikonasana, opposite side, as graceful a transition as possible. Pull your right hip back, draw your left inner thigh forward. A big inhale lifts you up, catches the waist, and squares you over the right. Parvrita Trikonasana, sitting bones back. Plant your left palm, roll it open. So again, we're looking for a blend of effort and ease. Too much effort is aggressive. Too much ease makes it dull. And again, every day, it's going to be a little bit of a different um, measurement of each. A big inhale picks you up, pivots you forward, other side, slide the hips, plant the right palm, roll it open. A big inhale lifts you up, five-pointed star, and steps you to the top. A bigger step out to the right, lunge deeply, extended side, elbow to knee or hand, plants to the pinky toe edge. So knitting the sitting bones toward each other, toning the outer glutes just subtly, tuck the lower ribs together and lean back. Where are your eyes? A big inhale lifts you up. Other side, lunge deeply, elbow to knee or plant the palm. Long through the side angle of the body, lift the pelvic floor and then look for the effort balanced with the ease. A big 
big inhale picks you up, lunges you to face the back as you drop your knee. Reach your right arm up, hook it over, hands to prayer. Maybe they open full extension, top arm faces the short edge of the mat. Manipulate, revolve, explore the upper ribs. A big inhale lifts you up. Parvrita Parsvokanasana, other side. Hook the elbow deep. Hands to prayer. Maybe they open. Maybe it's a full extension. So our base is set, that's our, our stira first, and then we start to look for space in the chest, in the revolution of our heart, of our diaphragm, of our shoulders. A big inhale picks you up. Steps you to the top, beautiful. Prasarita, step up with the right. Pigeon toe the feet, catch the waist, look up. Exhale, fold, hands down. Inhale, lengthen, digestive tract back. Exhale, head down. So this is a pose we see a lot, probably in every single class we do it. And as yogis, it is our job to make sure it is not autopilot absent-minded. Inhale, lengthen. Catch your waist. Stand up. Arms float for B. Catch your waist. Show me your heart and fold. Crown of the head to the earth, sitting bones wide. A big inhale stands you up. The arms float open for C. Let's take a different grip. So opposite pinky finger forward, lift your heart, bend your knees, flip your pelvis and around. Pull the lower abdomen back, start to weight into the big toe. A big inhale stands you up. Arms float open for D. Catch the waist, lift the chin, hands down the thighs, grab your big toes. Look up. Fold, compress, and clear. Crown of the head down, sitting bones high. So would you ever want to shorten that stance? Would you ever want to widen the thighs by activating your hips? Inhale, lengthen. Catch your waist. Stand up. Top of the mat, samastitihi. Take a prayer behind your back, right side up or upside down. Step out with the right foot and pivot. Big inhale lifts the heart, Parsvottanasana widens the thighs and takes you forward. So you decide where you want to put effort and every day maybe flirt with a different place, something unusual. Today it might be the lifting of the quad, it might be the lifting of the pelvic floor, it might be the hands behind the back, maybe all of that. A big inhale stands you up and pivots you forward. Inhale puffs the sternum, lifts the chest, and dives you down. 
So awareness is what we are conscious of, what is on the periphery of our noticing. So what are you noticing? Your hands, your feet, your belly. This is just a way to get to know yourself a little bit better. A big inhale stands you up, opens you wide, and steps you to the top. Utita hasta parangustasin, feet hip distance. Anchoring into your left foot, invite the right leg up, catch the toe. So if you wish to bow, by all means do so. Stay steady and integrated. And this might be one of those poses where you have to put a lot of stira effort. So today, if that's the case, could you give me a dash of sweet, gentle ease? If you're bowed forward, stand tall, take the leg to the side, soft shoulders. And this is not just in the asana practice, it's off the mat. You know, if you're constantly pushing and striving and, and reaching and there's goals, where is the space, where is the flow? Eyes through center, leg through center, maybe you bow. Catch your waist, point your toe, shoulders drawn back, eyebrows gentle. And release. Other side, anchor into the foot, lift the arm which invites the leg. <clears throat> so this is a practice, if you tumbled over last time, why did that happen? And then how can you put it into practice so this side, we don't fall? If you're bowed forward, stand tall. Take your leg out to the side, nice work. Eyes over the shoulder, knit the sitting bones together. Pelvic floor in. Eyes through center, leg through center, maybe you bow. Catch your waist, point your toe, plug your thigh bone into the pelvis, soft shoulders, three, two, one, and release. Nicely done. Others are, sorry, half pound standing lotus or figure four. So for those of you that go for the grip, Try to grab it with all of your fingers. Try to grab the top of the foot with all of your fingers. Bow in. Again, this might be a very sukha pose, a really sweet pose. If so, give me more integration, more steadiness, more fierceness. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Rise all the way up. Release the shape. Other side, half bound standing lotus or tree or figure four. Cross it up and over. Find your grip. Maybe you bow. So if it is a really intense, aggressive pose for you, where could there be something that is gentle? There's got to be something there. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Rise all the way up. Release the shape, sama stitihi. Inhale up. Fold in, forehead to shins. Lengthen. Pounce back, chaturanga. Urdva, show me what's in your heart, I want to know. Take it back. 
Step walk, float to the top and sit on your throne, Utkatasan. Beautiful, sitting bones low. This is the last of our standing work. Make it work for you. It's like you're throwing five more logs in the fire. Softer shoulders, lower bum, two. One. Dive forward, it's either a little handstand hop or it's a vinyasa, step back to lower. Spinal extension. Downward dog and step the right foot through, Vera A. Rise up, low, low, low in the pelvis. So from the pelvic floor, we call it the mouth of the Shishumna Nadi, the biggest river. So we're lifting the pelvic floor all the way to the upper palate of the mouth. Straighten your right leg, pivot to face the left, Vira A, lunge. Like you're opening up your wings to fly, warrior two, gaze over the left middle finger, low hips. There's often a tendency for the torso to pull too forward or back, so stack it. It's like we're making shapes and we're sending them up to outer space, we're communicating. Straighten the front leg, pivot to face the opposite leg, lunge. What's happening in the alignment of the hips? Windmill the hands to the earth. It's either a handstand vinyasa or a step back, gorgeous Shauna to lower, spinal extension, downward dog, through to a seat, dandasana, the seated work, bow your chin. So this is an invitation and I hope you accept the invitation. The invitation is to the next level of the practice, which is more challenging. Paschimottanasana, bow forward, catch your toes. Inhale, lengthen. Fold. lifts the heart, take your deepest grip all the way around the feet, maybe your wrist, and if you always grab one of the wrists, switch the grip and catch the other one, nice Lex. lengthen, release the shape. It's either a vinyasa or a dandasana. So I mentioned the invitation. The seated work is where the mind most likely will wander. This work is way harder than the standing. Purvotanasana, nice. The hands come a foot behind the back. You could bend the legs or keep them straight. Go up, purvo. And get curious about the heads of the humerus, the tops of the shoulder joints. Release your bottom. It's a vinyasa or a dandasana. So we flow or we extend our legs and take a moment. 
But if we're taking our moment, we're landing and we're curious. Half bound seated lotus. Nice, Aliza. Take your right leg, cross it up and over. Catch your foot, square your shoulders and dive. What if you slowed the breath down just subtly? Inhale, lengthen. Release the shape. It's a vinyasa or a dandasana. We float or we extend our legs and take a beat all the way back through opposite side. Take the other leg, fold it up. Three. Two. One, sorry if I'm a little bit off. Pick it up, vinyasa or dandasana. I lost you for a moment. So you might just settle, you might hold the shape a little while longer as we transition into tirang mukha. The right leg tucks back. This is important. Take your pubic bone behind you like you had a tail and fold. The reacher is the grabber. The right hand catches the left wrist. Inhale, lengthen. Release your shape. It's a vinyasa or a dandasana. So sometimes when I'm feeling really fiery, I might skip out on the vinyasas. Take the other leg, tuck it back. Likewise, some days when I'm feeling lazy, I make myself do more. Send the sitting bones back and dive. The reacher is the grabber, so the left hand is catching the right wrist. Scan your face. Inhale, lengthen. Release your shape. It's a vinyasa or a dandasana. Hi, Maya. You just can't leave your mom alone all the way through. Janu A. Take the right leg, fold it in, stomp your thigh. Pivot your navel center to line up with the left leg and dive. Lifting Mula Bandha, the pelvic floor. Lengthen. Release the shape, vinyasa or dandasana. So the legs could extend or you could take your little float all the way back through Janu A. So we build off this. Take the left leg, stomp your thigh, pivot your rib basket over your leg and dive. Inhale, lengthen. Release the shape, vinyasa or dandasana. So you always have the option to repeat A as we build to B. So B, we sit on our foot. Take the right foot in just like we just did. Pick up the bottom, sit on your foot. Two different variations. You could track the hamstrings or put the heel between the two little spots. 
Pull forward. Is there unnecessary tension, stira, in the shoulders? Inhale, lengthen. Release your shape. It's a vinyasa or a dandasan. Check your face always. There's a lot of evidence in the face. We want a poker face. Through to a seat, other side. Left leg folds. Pick up your bottom, sit on your heel. If you're tracking the hamstrings, press your big toe joint into the inline of the first hamstring. Inhale, lengthen. Untangle the shape. It's a vinyasa or a dandasana. So there's many options for C. If you want to sit on your toes, you could do that. Full variation. Take the, the calf muscle, roll it up. Take your big toe, pinky toe to the ground. Stomp your heel to your inner groin and fold. Work the knee to the floor because of the outer hip. It's like an abduction in the thigh, a pulling apart of the thighs. Lengthen. Release the shape. It's a vinyasa or a dandasan. So our stira is our effort, our attention, our focus, and then the sukha is kind of the joy and the juice. Take the left leg, fold it in. And some days you're going to feel more creative and flowy, and some days you're going to feel goal-oriented. And the idea is that meditation occurs when we've got the perfect blend of both. lengthen. Release the shape. It's a vinyasa or a dandasan. We move to our Merici series. There's four of these. They build off each other. Merici A, gorgeous. Nice, Lori. Take the right leg, fold it up. Give yourself lots of space. Reach the right arm forward. Tangle up the arms. Inhale, clear the abdomen so there's some stira in the arms, and then exhale, sukha, fold. Where's your meditation? Inhale, lengthen. Release the shape. It's a vinyasa, a dandasana, or an elsit. Scan your face. Scan your body. How am I? Through to a seat, gorgeous. Mary Chi A. Fold that left leg back. Deb, I can't see you, but I hope you're catching it. Reach, reach, reach. That'd be a good birthday present. I mean, Christmas present. Tangle it up and fold. Inhale, lengthen. Release the shape. It's a vinyasa or a dandasana. Soft face. Nice, rosy.
Stay in character, as Shauna always says. Take your left leg, it's half lotus or it tucks under, right knee to the sky. Marichi Asana B. Tangle up the arms like we did before. Big inhale, squares the chest and bows you in. You could have a spiritual awakening right now. It might be kind of boring to write about in a book, but lift the pelvic floor and all I mean by that is what was in the wings of your consciousness now become more um, into the light. We notice something we've never noticed. Inhale, rise, untangle your shape. It's a vinyasa or a dandasana. Get exploratory and curious about how the body's moving and feeling. Less attached to the outcome. Right leg up, nicely done. Left leg to the sky, marichi B. Marichi asana B and go. Inhale, rise. Release the shape. It's a vinyasa, a dandasana, or an L sit. Face is gentle. There's pride in the way that you take the shapes, but there's ease in the face. Mary Chi, C. Take your right leg folded in, a subtle pigeon toe. Get your, your breasts out of the way, get your tummy out of the way, and then hook your elbow. Some of you might bind around that folded knee joint. Inhale for height, exhale, rotation. So on the exhale is where the revolution, the ringing out comes from. The eyes come forward, untangle, vinyasa, dandasana, or else it. Other side, so nicely done. Left leg up. Get the tissue of the belly and the breasts out of the way. Hook your elbow. And so the cool thing about the practice is you might notice that it's in your head. You know, like there's a pose that there is more aggression, but it's really just in your head, your thoughts about the pose. So try to unravel what you think you know about a pose, your body, your life, and let sponta spontaneity happen. The eyes come forward, untangle, vinyasa or dandasana. So this is a big crux in the yoga practice, the primary series, Mary Chi D. So you take it at your own level. The left leg folds up half lotus or underneath. The right knee folds to the sky. So some of you might bind around that folded right knee and some of you might just hug and compress. And what I love about this pose is the placement of the heel in the digestive tract. I, I want you to fall in love with where your foot lands. It's not normal and maybe not totally comfortable, but it's a cool marma point in the body. The eyes come forward, untangle, beautiful. It's a vinyasa, a dandasana, or an elsit. Gorgeous work. We got this. Together we are unstoppable. Take your right leg, tuck it up, half lotus or under, Mary Chi D. Fold your knee to the sky, hug yourself and roll it open. What lies on the stage wings of your uh, awareness? Tell me about your right glute. What about your left pinky toe and then you have a right big toe?
the eyes come forward, untangle, vinyasa or dandasan, nicely done. So we move into Navasana and the option between Navasanas will be a hop up to handstand or just a pick up. This first Navasana is in the name of self-care, self-reliance, capital S, self. Crossing the ankles, you can either pick it up or do a little handstand pop and come all the way down, Navasana 2. This one is in honor of longevity, and I am preaching to the choir here, but longevity is, is not about the handstand. Longevity is like primary series. It's showing up, doing the seated work and the standing work, religiously devoted. Cross the ankles, it's either a handstand or a pick up. And lower your bottom, last one. This is for the determination that comes when a pose, it feels impossible, but we show up anyway. Vinyasa or, dun, or no, actually vinyasa because we're headed to Bhuja Pindasana. Shoulder pressure posture. So if you know it and can jump straight into it, do that. Otherwise, step walk, float your feet in front of your wrists. Catch your heels, heel toe them together. Wide in the elbows, you might want to sit on blocks, or sorry, hands on blocks. Crossing the feet, maybe pulling them through to lower your forehead or your chin down. Protract the shoulders. Pearl in the pelvic floor up. Prana Vayu, that, that point just below the rib basket is fired up. Untangle Titi Vasan, extend those legs. Bakasan, Vinyasa, feet back, lower. Ride it up, lift your chest, slide back. Kurmasana and Supta Kurmasana, feet wider than your mat. The legs go back, so your option, you could take a forward bend, that might be more than enough. Some of you though, will thread the hands back, palms up. Heel toe the feet together, glide the feet against the floor, soft face. You're either with me or you're floating in Nowheresville. Either stay the way you are or tangle up the hands or feet behind your back for Supta Kurmasana. Untangle. So this could be a pick up, a TT Boston pick up, or even a leg behind the head pick up, or you stay as you are. It's a vinyasa, or the legs extend out in front. All the way back through to a seat for embryo pose. Cross legged, half lotus, or full padmasana. Make your package really tiny. You might thread your hands through the peepholes of your knee to catch your face. The eyes are up, so Navasana bow pose prepped us for this. Nine rolls down the left, up the right in a full circle. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine. Pick it up, palms down, lift it up, protract the shoulders, soft eyes, belly back, three, two, one. Release your bottom. It's a vinyasa or a dandasana. All the way through to a seat, Bhattakanasana. This is a big practice, hey? It's like super flexing the muscle of focus. Drop the knees open. Take your pubic bone back behind you and fold. If you have a lot of sukha, a lot of flexibility, a lot of ease, then I want stira. Likewise, if you're really stiff and awkward here, where could you cultivate a sweet softening? Rising up, opening the feet, rounding the back, head to the feet, five. We don't often get to make this shape in primary, so round it, pull the lower belly back, two. One, rise all the way up, it's a vinyasa, a dandasana. And then we go internal rotated thighs. Upa Vishta Konasana. The legs go wide. You can manipulate your pubic bone back. So if the pubic bone goes down, your butt muscles will start to flex and fold. What lies on the periphery of your awareness? So what are you aware of? And if you were to challenge yourself to become aware of a little bit more, what could that be? Rising all the way up, lean back, lift your legs up, balance on your bottom and get familiar. So next time we rock up for one inhale and then we fall forward. Release the shape. It's a vinyasa, a dandasana, or lie on your back. Supta konasana, reclined angle pose. Make sure everything's out of your way for when you hyperextend and fall forward. Roll back. Take your legs wide, catch your big toes. Pull the lower belly in. And if you see a fleshy belly looking at you, I hope you love it. That's beautiful. Scissor the inner thighs gently together. Next inhale, rock up, balance on the bottom, take an inhale. Hyperextend the feet, fall. Yeah. Release the shape, nice rosy. It's a vinyasa, a dandasana, or lie on your back. Reclined big toe pose. If you're working leg behind the head, take that. For those of you that are quite tight, you might like to bend the left knee and bring the foot to the floor. Lift the right leg up, catch your toe. Track your left thigh with your left hand, bow in. Lift your chin up. Release the neck and shoulder. Take the right leg out wide, eyes over the left shoulder.
pelvic floor. This could be very sukha, so you might want to add a bit of stira. Eyes through center, leg through center, bow. Release the neck and shoulder, release the leg, other side. Catch the toe, track the thigh. Again, if you're working leg behind the head, that's great too. Releasing the neck and shoulder, take the leg out wide, eyes over the other shoulder. Clear the digestive tract. Mula Bandha pelvic floor, Uriyata Bandha flying lock keeps the hips drilled to the ground. Eyes through center, leg through center, bow. Release the neck and shoulder, release the leg. It's either a chakrasana, a backwards roll, or stay as you are, or rock up for a vinyasa. We'll take two more, nice Eliza. Two more rock and roll shapes before we close our practice. From your back, so this is immediate, beautiful legs. Legs overhead, catch your big toes. Kick your heels back, rock up to balance on the bottom. Point through the toes, straighten the arms, the head is back. Check for kinks in the hose. So a kink in the hose will be bent knees, bent arms. Um, your neck might be kind of funny. So straighten your legs, straighten your arms. Release this shape. It's a vinyasa, a dandasana, beautiful. Or lie on your back for one more rock and roll. This is deeper, but if last one was really hard, do the same one again. So this is a deeper grip. We're on our backs. This time we're going to catch around our feet. So the thumb is on the big toe joint. Kick the heels back. Rock up. Catch around your heels perhaps and fold in. to lengthen. Release the shape. It's a vinyasa, a dandasana, or lie on your back. Good work. For our final pose before we close. So this is known as Setu Bandhasana Mermaid, Merman. Eliza, that's almost an hour. You might want to take a couple back bends. Charlie Chaplin the feet. And then perhaps you lift your pelvis up and that's your pose. Some of you might roll right over the neck and catch your traps. Releasing down. It's a chakrasana, a vinyasa, or stay as you are for our back bends. Very nice. So this is little bridge or full wheel. And this first one is for the self. And I'm talking about the highest self. So the part of you that has no judgment, no anxiety, the part of you that is in flow, Scissor those thighs together. Be big and bold. We practice to live from that place more frequently. Come all the way down. Let it settle. Hmm. This next one is in honor of longevity. Come all the way up, like all of you, you deserve an award for it. There's a lot of fair weather practitioners that they like the fancy stuff. They do it every once in a while, then when they get that pose, they're done. But not you. 
For you, the, the intention is different. Come down. Hmm. Last one, determination. Push the floor away, go up. We keep showing up. Even when we feel like we're miles and years and lifetimes away, we know that we're doing this for some bigger reason. Not the back bend or the headstand. And all the way down. Hug yourself. And rock up to a seat for Paschimottanasana, a forward bend. So the legs extend out in front, the flesh of the bottom goes back and let it fall. Every exhale, a little bit more of a letting go. Twenty-one is creeping up. It's a time to consider what you want out of the year. Knowing that you control very little. If anything we've learned over these past, I don't know how many ever, ever months, is that we don't really control much. There was an illusion that we did. Rise up. It's either a vinyasa or lie on your back for shoulder stand or legs up the wall. So if you've tapped out, if you've gotten distracted, come home. Again, you're either here or nowhere. So the option would be legs up. You could reach the toes up overhead, catch the upper back, legs to the sky. Feel an internal rotation of those leg bones. You might even take a peek at your toes and notice if they're lined up. So the feet should be symmetric. Anytime we're upside down, I always check in with my ankle bones and my big toe joints to make sure my feet and legs are, are doing the same thing. And then moving into plow, reach the toes overhead, intertwine the fingers, drape those shoulders deeply under the back. Bending the knees, either covering your eye sockets or around your cheekbones. Maybe the knees go to the hairline. Maybe you cover your ears. Rising all the way up. It's either a diamond shape with the legs or a lotus position. This is Mahabandha. The arms extend. They're straight. It's a mathematical equation for you. How high do the knees have to be in order for the arms to be straight? Tuck the knees in toward the belly, whether they're crossed or lotus, embryo pose, contractile, small. Untangle, come all the way down, Matsyasin fish pose, chest is up, elbows are down, belly button in, open the throat, three, two, 
one, untangle, extend the legs, extend the arms, palms touch, point the toes, quads active, three, two, one, come all the way down. It's a chakrasana, a backwards roll, or rock yourself up to set yourself up for sheer shasana. Headstand, the grand big posture, the king of all the shapes, ready. So again, if you've just tapped out, come back in. And, and that might mean that you opt for a hip opener. You don't have to take headstand. But I definitely want you to be present for these final few moments with us together. Beautiful, Rach. Headstanders, you may want to take a pike, sliding your bottom back, gorgeous. You could play with your leg position. Beautiful, all the way back up. all the way down, sit back, balasana, child's pose, rest. How are you? So there's a part of you that's always okay. I've experienced some accidents in my life where I've hurt myself, probably you have too, and what I noticed in those moments were like, huh, there's a part of me that's totally fine. And stira sukha, this idea of effort blended with ease, the more we find it on the mat, the more we find it off the mat. Either take a vinyasa or meet me in a seat for our final three poses before shavasana. It is a cross-legged seat, a half lotus seat, or a full padmasana. Hands come behind the back. You might catch a hold of your toes. You might catch a hold of your elbows. Inhale, lift, and exhale, fold. Rising all the way up, extend the arms, the thumb, the first finger touch, back of the neck long. What belongs to you? Where is your skin, your muscle, your bones, your tissue, and then what is not you? And how far beyond the physical body do you extend? At all? Anywhere? Opening your eyes, press your palms down into the floor. Pick yourself up. Ten. Nice legs. Three, two, 
one, release your bottom nice cat. It's a vinyasa. And then lie on your back, Shavasana, corpse pose. Yeah, nicely done. Set yourself for success. Take an inhale. Ah. Let it go, Shavasana. Let it die. between something you want and something you love can be illustrated by how you treat a flower. When you want something, you take it for yourself. And that flower then exists as an extension of you. It's beauty measured by how beautiful you allow it to be. We often feel the need to have possession over the things we love. But when you love something, you discover an appreciation for everything it is. Knowing something so beautiful, so fast, could never belong only to you. Seeing its light and knowing it would be selfish to hold it hostage from the world. I pity those who have not gotten the chance to experience you. And at the beginning of this love, I only wanted you for myself. I'm not learning to love you. I'm learning to adore you from three steps back, wanting only to experience this life with you. I will not interrupt the path you forged for yourself. I will stand beside you, championing your growth. I will not demand you change for me. I only ask that you change for the better. I want to see you grow as I stand alongside you. As humans, we are so complex. There's immense depth to our minds and souls. How selfish would it be for me to think I could be everything for you? So instead, I'll be everything I am. Letting you be everything you are. And going forward, we'll face everything together. Take a deep inhale. Ha. <sighs> One more. <sighs> move your fingers, move your toes. Stretch your arms long overhead, point your toes. Tuck your knees towards your belly to roll to the right. and rise to a seat. There is an invitation here to carry your practice into whatever happens next in your life. Bring your hands to your heart and close your eyes and bow your chin. Thank you. Lifting our eyes, namaste.